Hi, in this video we will discuss factoring. Factoring is the process of writing an expression as a product of simpler terms. In other words, factoring is decomposing or breaking up of an expression into its factors. Factoring is useful in mathematics. For instance, it can be used for finding roots of polynomials. Now here are some important rules regarding factoring that we use often. xy plus xz equals x times y plus z, the common factor rule. x squared plus or minus 2xy plus y squared equals x plus or minus y squared, the perfect square trinomial. x squared minus y squared equals x plus y times x minus y, the difference of two squares x cubed plus or minus y cubed equals x plus or minus y times x squared minus or plus x times y plus y squared, the sum or difference of cubes. In our first example, we factor the expression 2 times x squared plus 2x minus 4. We will first factor out the common factor of 2. Then we will split x into negative x plus 2x. Then we will factor an x from x squared minus x and a 2 from 2x minus 2. Then we will be able to factor a common factor of x minus 1. And we are left with 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 2. In conclusion, our answer will be 2 times x minus 1 times x plus 2. In our second example, we factor the expression x to the power of 6 minus 8 times y to the power of 3. We will solve the question by first acknowledging that this question is in the form of x squared to the power of 3 minus 2y to the power of 3. Therefore, we can use the difference of cubes formula, which is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. After subbing into the formula, we end up with x squared minus 2y times x squared to the power of 2 plus x squared times 2y plus 2y squared. After simplifying, we get x squared minus 2y times x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared times y plus 4y to the power of 2. In conclusion, our answer will be x squared minus 2y times x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared times y plus 4y to the power of 2. In our third example, we will factor the expression 4 times x squared minus 25. We will begin by first realizing that the difference of two squares can be used here and come up with 2x squared minus 5 squared. Then, from our formula, we get 2x plus 5 times 2x minus 5. In conclusion, our answer is 2x plus 5 times 2x minus 5. In our last example, we will factor the expression 3x squared plus 6x plus 3. We can first factor out the 3 and end up with 3 times x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then, we see that we can use the perfect square trinomial rule, which will just give us 3 times x plus 1 squared. So in conclusion, our final answer is 3 times x plus 1 squared. We have reviewed the important rules for factoring and gone through some examples. However, those are not the only types of factoring questions. We may need to use a combination of the rules we talked about together with rules we did not mention. Now here are some practice questions.